What's up guys, it's your boy Damone, aka The Motivational, and today we are going to be showcasing Tuxedo Mask. <laughs> no, but seriously. Uh, so it looks like my guess was right, or, or one of my guesses was right anyway, uh, for who the Hall of Heroes is going to be. And it looks like it's going to be the Light Phantom Thief Luer. So I want to talk about some stuff here. Uh, again, I thought it was going to be this unit specifically because... Um, he sounds like he would be, he would have some guild siege utility, and as of late, the focus has been guild battle. Um, just because, you know, guild siege drop, so it just, I don't know, to me it just seemed like something that would be viable, uh, just because how his skill kit works. So we're gonna talk, talk about that a little bit. And if I were to build a unit like this, how or where I would use him, or where I would plan to use him based on his skill kit, okay? So let's talk about skills. So let me move my uh hold on a second guys let me move my uh my big little head out of the way <laughs> like yo d uh tootie my head is ginormous no, it's not. it is it's yeah. huge it's huge you guys look at you guys see that it's cool huh? you guys get to see this editing live it's live y'all all right so now we're gonna move this window up boop, 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 boop. there it is and then move the little a little rocks glass right in the corner here. There it is. What well, bam? Look at you guys got to see live editing. This is a privilege. The value of this video just went up over 9,000. There it is. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> so now the funny thing about this is I just moved my cam and one of these skills is probably going to have a lot of text in it and it's still going to be covering it. So just, you know, prepare the roast right now. So anyway, scene of the crime inflicts damage to announce the crime and stuns the enemy for one turn with a 20% chance. Okay. So... Boop! Potential stun. All right, he didn't stun that time. Okay, see? I said <laughs> I'm gonna read this from the screen. Randomly attacks the enemies up to three times and decreases the attack targets attacked targets attack speed. Jeez, attack targets attack speed for two turns with an 80% chance for each attack. Um, so back in the day, this skill used to be like, uh, I, th I think it used to be a single target and then they changed it to an AOE, but it, or a chance to be an AOE, uh, which increased the effectiveness kind of. Um, but, I mean, overall, attack speed reduction is pretty cool, especially if you're going to run this unit on, like, a Despair, uh, or something like that if you're looking for CC. Now, the, the reason why I said he's probably going to be effective for Guild Siege is because the HP ratio of you and the target ally will be evened, um, and both will become invincible for two turns. So, basically, what that does is, let's say you're going to run this with, like, a Katarina or something, and you position this unit to where he's relatively fast, well, well, really super fast, so he gets turn priority or positioned after your buffer or something like that. Um, I don't know. There's a ton of different ways you can run this, but let's say he goes Katarina, you know, now he evens HP, uh, or if you want to position it at turn two, if your team is still alive, let's say you're running like a double shield will or something crazy like that. Um, he'll even out the HP and then give invincibility for two targets, uh, for, excuse me, for two turns. This can also be good paired with like a Halfas. Uh, or something like that, um, if you're trying to play around with, with invincibility, right? So if you want it to be really annoying, you could, l let's say, run this unit with, like, Halfoss uh, or Katarina. The invincibility pops, your Katarina goes, you basically clear a uh, GB team, depending on how well your Katarina's ruined. Or if you're trying to play defense, you can do this on Halfoss to make a really annoying defense measure. Again, still, this unit's going to be positioned fast. Does that make sense? Uh, I would say I'd run him more, if I was going to build this unit, I'd run him more as a support um, before I ran him as an attack. Although, depending on what his base stats are, here, let me look at that for you guys right now. This is information that I should probably have ready to go <laughs> before, uh, before, you know, I start the video. But, you know, it's my first day, never done YouTube before, so we're just, you know, just kind of winging it right now, you know. First video, just cut me some slack here. <laughs> so... Uh, Awakened at 6 star, he has 10,380 HP, um, 604 attack, 681 defense. So yeah, most likely, yeah, he's definitely going to be support. His arrest is 300% uh, times 2 multiplier. Scene of the crime is a 400% multiplier. But with the low base attack, I mean, again, you're not really, most likely you're probably not going to run this unit on damage. So I say he's probably, in my opinion, is going to be super niche. Uh, super niche unit, depending on what type of units you want to pair him with. Like I said... There's all kind of gimmicks, gimmicks and gadgets that you could potentially run uh, with this unit with his third skill, but it really just depends on what you are trying to do. Uh, like I said, you could pair him with Katarina, you could pair him with Halfas, you could pair him with any kind of unit, um, let's say a slow unit that has one-shot potential to take out problematic units, uh, just to get him in there and get that two-turn invincibility. Because if you're up against teams that aren't running any type of strip, 
Um, this could create a lot of issues and, of course, buy your team time. Now, who you place in the middle of that love duo um, is entirely up to you, but just make sure that it's to maximize the synergy and the effectiveness of your team. So am I going to get one of these? Absolutely. Um, I just like, I feel like he has some, some, some utility somewhere, and it's just one of those units that I feel like might come into play, even though you look at it, you're like, yeah, whatever. Uh, but it's just one of those units that might come into play in the future. Or potentially even receive a buff. So, there's some things you just got to keep an eye out for. So, with that being said, guys, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Uh, that's my take on the Light Phantom Thief. Let me know if you guys are excited about this unit or if you're just going to food them to one of your other units like Luer or something like that. Um, and what you guys think. I personally, I recommend at least grabbing one of them for yourself. And then whatever you do with the rest of them is entirely up to you. But, yeah. Love y'all. Y'all have a good day. And we'll see you guys in the next video.